evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Hearthstone Tavern Brawl Week 1, Nefarian vs. Ragnaros. I promised that I would keep on playing Brawl and record if I managed to get Nefarian as a nice, you know, contrast for the two Ragnaros games that I had in my last video. So, here goes. Um... Now, the Nefarians I played against, they would always use their hero ability, but I think that that's actually wrong. I think it's, given, given what I know of Ragnaros' deck, I think what you got to do is try to race Rag down and use your tempo advantage to win. I think if you um, try to, you know, win the long way by building up card advantage with this, you're, you're just going to have a bad time. So let's see, what does he have? All right, he's going to make a Magma Rager. Okay, pretty solid. So I have a pretty good answer to this, luckily, because this is a dragon, so I can just deal three damage to it and hit him in the face. I think it's really important to push your tempo advantage when you're Nefarian. I say this as, you know, an expert who has played Nefarian all of zero times before this, because this is actually my first time playing him. Um, but I really think that doing this every single turn, um, you could still win just because Nefarian's so much naturally stronger. But, um, it, you know, you're asking for trouble when you do that. All right, now this is one of Rag's best cards, because um, it does sort of stop this drake in its tracks. Um, luckily, well, let, me see, let, me see, let me draw cards first. Let's see if I can get like a lucky fireball or something to kill this. Cold blood, not quite going to do it. Let's kill that. Play this. And let me think about this. Should I go for the cold blood here? It's going to die to that. Um, he will have take, he'll take 18 damage from doing that. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to find a better use for Cold Blood, so let's just bash him. That was pretty lucky, honestly, because most spells in the game would have been obviously useless there. Now, this I'm not a super big fan of, because Rag does have several ways of dealing with these whelps. Uh, but most of them are like Corrin Direbrew and Baron Geddon. They aren't actually going to be online for a little while. So, I feel like um, I got a decent chance with this. It's, all right, so this is interesting. Um, he can kill it. Do I just go for these whelps? Or do I play Atramides? This is, I don't know. It seems like Esther's going to die to his molten giant and not achieve much. Shadow Flame doesn't do much for me. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just going for the burn here. Bam. So he does get to kill this and then three of my whelps, but then I still have six damage. I just gotta hope I, I can burn him out before he comes online with his, you know, hero ability and crazy, crazy cards that he has. I could easily see myself losing this, but I, because of my high health total, at least I'll have a lot of time to um, fish for damage dealing spells, though there aren't many. And I don't know if I have anything that would help me um, very much either, but I, there's this Shadow Flame. My, these guys don't actually have that much of a hitting power, but I could, I could potentially swing the game back with um, Shadow Flame. That's very interesting. I think he made a mistake. I think he should have killed that with Molten Giant because that Lava Burst overloads him for two, so it reduces how much mana he's going to have next time. I don't think he can afford to uh, reduce that. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I forget what this is. I've never seen this. At the end of each turn, someone will... Oh, I see. Clever. The start of your turn deal... Okay, that's just junk. Shoot. Um, okay, see I got seven, nine, so I do get to flip. Resurrect, uh, might as well. I don't think I had anything bad. Yeah, unfortunately I just had a whelp. Well, still, it's, you know it's a free whelp, which is much better than what most spells could be. Let's play that, let's play this. The This one's gonna bring back that one, so there's no point. Might as well just hit him in the face. And he's overloaded now, so it's going to be difficult for him to do a board clear. Alright, let's see. Um, then I'll have a lot of time to fish for some damage dealing spells. Now he's got, what, Flame Heart, which would give him 4 life, but that's pretty much it as far as life gaining effects go that I can remember anyway. He's gonna... he still needs to do a little bit more work to kill that. He can't afford to hit it with his face anymore. Okay, so he throws away all of his puppies. Unless he has another way to get another puppy, those guys aren't going to come back. So there's this. Unless he can give it taunt, though, it's irrelevant. I've never seen this. At the start of your turn, summon a legendary minion. Cool. 
Well, it doesn't matter because he loses. All right, so that's a look at Nefarian. All right, everyone. Um, what I'm going to do is keep on playing, and uh, if I get another Nefarian run, I'll start my recorder up again. Okay, we're back. I cheated, and I auto-conceded as Ragnaros twice in order to get a game with Nefarian. And I'm sorry, because that's super cheap of me, but I wanted to do another video, or another game, just so I didn't have like some random dumb uh, five minute video. Here I are up against Mr. Perkins. And uh, my mulligan decision, you know, basically I really just want big creatures to play so that I can uh, try to rush the opponent down. That seemed to work well last time. Now this is maybe the wrong play compared to the Chromatic Drake, but I want to use my mana efficiently if I can. He's obviously going to kill one of the whelps with his weapon, and then the Flame Imp was actually not a bad uh, draw for him. He's going to get to kill the other one too. I don't think I want to play this. That probably hurts me more than it helps me, but let's kill that Flame Imp off. And I could play this... Uh, no, I think what I want to do is get a spell... Ah, Totemic Might. The spell that players get 90% of the time. So this is just a waste, but whatever. We gotta, gotta, gotta drop our 7-7. Seven, seven. Got 11 damage here. We'll hopefully take him down to 40. This is a dragon, so this thing can deal 3 damage. That can hopefully kill something. This is definitely not as strong of a turn 1 play as the Chromatic Drake is. Alright, this is clever play, so he's making sure that the thing I was going to kill this with dies. As Rag, you do kind of have to spend your health totals. Luckily for me, I have another alternative here. What I'm going to do is flip for a spell to see if I can get something good. Mark a nature. Interesting. Hmm. That's a really good flip. So I can play the Corruptor and finish this off, throwing away my Hatcher. Yeah, I think that's it. But now I don't even have to throw the thing away. I can buff its health. Run it in. Play the Corruptor, which thanks to this dragon. Oh, all right. Well, sweet. Um, yeah, so that's Nefarian. Seven incredible minutes of high stakes action. Well, I think that'll do it for this week's Brawl videos. It's probably going to get a little bit samey if I keep doing more than that. But thanks for watching all that. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.